love that guitar. The way that the song opens with that guitar, it sprinkles. It's like you're sweating. And here comes this late afternoon shower. Just cools you off. The rain just falling on you. Sprinkles. It's like this in the cool winds. Like that guitar solo. A perfect pop record. A near, it's a 70s, it's a classic 70s obscure pop record at number 98 making its debut on Billboard's Hot 100 September the 11th 1971 it is Billy Sands with Solo I love it you know what that song reminds me of remember the song this was in the fall of 71 same era Birds of a Feather by the Raiders has that same pop flavoring same bubble gummy gooey oh you just you just chew on it all night. It won't lose its flavor all day long. Won't lose its flavor. It's still sweet. You're like, yes, I love it. Billy says, I don't know much about him, though. Now, I picked up a little information of him, but I can't verify its authenticity. But I'll give you what I know. Uh, the song was recorded in Houston. It went to number eight in Houston on some of the radio stations in Houston. Off the Invictus record label. That's an unlikely record label for a song this pop. The Infectus, Infectus record label, Holland Dozier Holland's record label. Crack songwriters of Motown in the mid-60s started this record label, Hot Wax and Infectus, in the late 60s. The flagship artist from, the, from that record label, Infectus, thinking of the Honeycombs, Frida Payne, Chairman of the Board, 100 Proof and Soul, does it? But it was it was it was from a source that I came across. The song was not was not promoted though by the Infectus record label. Not really surprised. This is not a soul record. This is this is pure pop. This is vanilla, vanilla ice cream. Yes, man. <laughs> but he did have a, he did have more success though. Uh, Billy Sands had more success with Bicycle Morning. That went to number one in New Zealand. This was in 1975, and get this, in Dallas, Billy Sands recorded a song called Footprints and Her Yard. Guess who was the backing vocalist? Guess who played background instruments? Well, guess who played the instruments on that record? The Five Americans. Zip Code, and there was their biggest hit, Western Union Man, back in the spring of 67. They played back up on that record by Billy Sands. Uh, the only other thing I know about this song by Billy Sands, I found this from a comment on YouTube. It was heavily requested on a radio station, a top 40 radio station in Rio de, de Janeiro in Brazil. It was on a radio station called Moondial, 860 AM, heavily requested. But no cigar here in the States. How high did it go? 91. That's it. On Billboard's Hot 100 for one month. In the fall, late summer, fall of 1971. Made its debut at number 98. And it peaked at 91, and that is it. But what a fine pop record. Should have done a little bit better. At least cracked the top 40. Billy Sands with Solo.